Today I will show you how to win laser beam skin if you are really bad at the game. Also you should probably not share this video with other people because if this video get a lot of views that means that a lot of people will use this strategy and you will have smaller chances to get skin yourself. So let's keep this video in our community because I know that a lot of you don't have money to buy skin but if you do this skin is coming out in two days and if you want to support me use code roll in the item shop. Right now we have 169 people using it. So win is 69 points and each kill is 2 points. Which means everyone have good chances because this is placement tournament but all pros and all skilled players don't care about these tournaments and this is what we actually like. They will double key everyone they see and this will work perfect for us. So what you need to do, you need to tank storm every game and you will probably win skin and now I will show you how. So first of all what you need to do, you need to land safe, you need to land edge of map and try to go somewhere where it is not contested. For example I'm going steamy, that's bad decision but I know how to play there. Next what you need to do, you need to take a lot of white heals because of course you will stay in storm and you need to heal yourself. And it would be perfect if you can get full materials. So what I learned is that 3 medkits is enough and I will show you that later in video but if you want to feel safe you can take more. It would be perfect if you know where are campfires next to your spot because they actually help you a lot and you can stay in storm longer. It's not too important but if you are already tanking storm try to get that side because once you enter zone it would be way easier for you to actually win game. So I'm showing you all of this in solo arena, tournament will be duos. So in duos you can do same with two players. It would be probably good if you can take car as well with you. So when one guy is driving, other guy can pop his heals. So like I say, this tournament should not be stuck and once you enter zone, you should be full materials, white heals and probably minis or splashes what you enjoy more. And if you are already here with full materials, it's really really easy to win game because everything what matter in endgame is materials. Once you are safe, just try to avoid every single fight. And since there will be a lot of players which don't care about this tournament, they will double key, so it's better to not make your box. Try to use bushes or hide somewhere in house and then just try to get free kill over there. But I think it's better to not make your box because other players will double key you for sure. And now end games in duos, you just need high ground. And since you will have a lot of materials, you can retake and you can hold high ground forever. And now I will show you this high kill end game and then I will show you another strategy. So now second game I also land steamy which you should not do, I just like to fight early. Anyway, kills are not important, in this game I will show you that you can time it out, that you go outside of zone when is already end game. So let me show you these kills and then I will show you how to do it. So what you need to be aware as well is that you can be hunted and then even if you are thinking that you are alone don't drop your weapons for heals which I did over here because they will probably hunt you and if you don't have weapons in that time you could be pretty pretty in bad situation.
Anyways, after that fight I didn't have anything, I lost my materials, but because we're playing like this, we can stay in storm and farm and eventually we're gonna have everything we need. So what you need to know is that Orchid have a lot of garbages, or however you pronounce this, and each of them are healing 10 HP. You can hold 15, which means you have 150 white HP and you can eat them pretty pretty fast. So because of that, in these situations, you can even stay and out heal second tick zones but you need to calculate it really really good because once five tick zones start you're losing hp pretty pretty fast And then also what you can do if you don't want to fight, you can wait that they finish fights and after team which won't leave, you can go and take rest of other team's loot. There could be more materials or extra shield which they didn't take. Easy. And this is how you won games because they never have materials in endgame. Oh, that was extremely hard. <laughs> And then we have this landing spot which I really find cool, especially for duos. It's not really contested and it's close to Hydro where you can find RPG. So I know I told you you should not fight and everything is placement, but RPG in duos or trios, it's way overpowered and it's only one in game. Actually you could get some from shark but they're rare. So if you have chance to took it, you should took it. It's free high ground. So what you should do next, you need to find car. It could be great if you can find this pickup truck, but every car is better than none. So you fill them up with gas until they're 100%. You find three medkits. And then you chill in this holy water. It's gonna fully heal you when you are in one tick zones, but when there are two tick zones you should go because you will lost one tick per second. So when two tick zones start, you and your friend sit in your car which you bring with yourself. You have three medkits each, so when one guy is healing, other guy is driving, and then safely you go out of zone. What is my bloom man? Finally This guy is over here somewhere Oh I see him 